All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So, you guys can go ahead and send me fake cards. Sometimes I do fake cards sent to me. Sometimes I just look them at myself. But they did not have to be all uh, Ubell related. I just wanted to clear out that because I'm Ubell Master it doesn't mean that, oh, only fake cards on Fake Card Friday have to be Ubell related. It just happens to be that this one today is Ubell related. I got this one sent to me by my friend, you know, Prodigy. Uh, he joins me on some of my content. He is in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League Season 2. Uh, the link to his channel is in the description. And he also does his own version of Fake Card Friday, reviewing fake cards, making fake cards. So if you guys can go ahead and support him, I'd be very appreciative. But he sent me a Ubell card, uh, as you will mastery. I hope that I'll be able to review this card efficiently. And if this card was real, how great would it be in a Ubell deck? So today we are looking at Ubell. The Supreme Night Terror. The name's okay. You know, it's like, it's like the ultimate nightmare, then you're the Supreme Night Terror, because I believe this is like an upgrade of uh, of Ultimate Nightmare. So we're going to go ahead and look at it. So it's Dark Level 12, Fiend Effect, Zero Attack, Zero Defense. All right, surprise, surprise. It's a few bell stats, you know. Um, it'd be cool if it could go to like level 13, but 12 is the highest you can get. So, uh I mean, it's nice that Yubel is one of the illustrious level 12, but you see on the art, there's like no level, so it's kind of like, it's kind of like Ultimaya, uh, Zizulkin, but it, on the art, it has no level, so, I don't know, but the first fact is this card's original level is always treated as 12, alright, uh, it cannot be normal summoned or set, sure, must be special summoned from your hand or graveyard by banishing three Yubel monsters with different names from your hand, field, or graveyard, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. I think that's pretty good. The fact that I can just have this card in my hand, which not my luck in you bell. I mean, if you guys have watched Vime on live stream, you guys know my luck when it comes to having you bell in my hand. I probably only play one of this, uh, similar to the from you bell. Um, but it just, it's just, ah, uh, I gotta banish my you bell. So hopefully it's worth it. Hopefully it's worth it because then I can't really do anything with you bells. Is it? And then is it really worth running multiple copies of each form of you bell? So is it like, do I run like one of this and then three of each form of you bell? Uh, and then banish those copies from my hand field or graveyard. Because graveyard is nice. I can summon this card from my graveyard and I can banish from my graveyard. So with Armageddon Knight and Dark Griffer and maybe some Beatrice action you, and mail, maybe some Milling, you just go ahead and send those copies to the graveyard. Yeah, Milling deck would be great, you know? Maybe like a 60 card you bell deck with uh, that tasty grass and mill a whole bunch, send all three copies, send this to the graveyard and then revive it. That'd be pretty good. Pretty good. But is it worth it? Is it worth it? That's the thing. But uh, the fact that you can summon this from the grave and you can banish the three different. You bells from your grave to summon this pretty good pretty good i like that but also the special summon of this card could not be negated cool so uh i believe this is inherent summon summon right from the graveyard and you can't stop me you cannot you know solemn warning me you can't solemn strike me i just banish and summon so there you go really really nice i like that uh cannot be tributed oh yes yes i can't be kaiju that's nice that's nice i cannot be kaiju uh i love that uh, but of course, since it's Ubel, uh, so I can't be, I can't, my summon can't be negated, I can't be tributed, and with good old Ubel fashion, this card cannot be destroyed by battle, but also it cannot be targeted by card effects. Alright, so can I not be, you know, destroyed by card effects too? Can I just be straight up invincible? I, I don't believe that too, so I believe this card can still be destroyed by card effects. So just simply Nageki at Dark Cola, it's gone. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. That's fair. That's fair, because the fact that I just can't be, I can't be tributed and I can't be targeted, like, come on. I don't even be a Magic Spectre monster too, right? Uh, good old Ubel Fashion, you take no battle damage from battling on this card. Any damage, uh, your opponent takes involving this card, it's doubled. So, I'm assuming similar to, like, Ultimate Nightmare, you know, I battle, you take the damage. So, I guess this would be doubled. You know, my opponent takes double the damage that he usually takes. So, that definitely seems like an upgrade on uh, Ultimate Nightmare's effect. Uh, at the end of the battle phase, if this... Alright, at the end of the battle phase. So, it's not, you know, during the damage step, before damage calculation, after damage calculation, at the end of the battle phase. Ah, interesting, interesting. It's a little slower. It's a little slower than I was expecting. Um, if this face-up card attacks or is attacked, it's probably going to be doing some attacking. I'm seriously, anybody's going to want to attack in this. Uh, you can banish one card. Your uh, you can banish one card on your opponent's hand. I think in your opponent's hand, on the field, or in the graveyard. Then, if it was a monster, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. If then damage my opponent takes is doubled. So that's pretty decent. It's a little bit slower, you know. Uh, with Ultimate Nightmare, it's like, okay, I attack into your blue eyes, you take the damage, you're destroyed, and then all my other monsters get it in. This, unless it's hopefully something I can handle, 
It's just like, okay, I battle, nothing really happens. Then during the the end of the battle phase, it's like, okay, well, I can banish a card anywhere, really, in the hand, field, or graveyard, which is pretty good. So that means, and it doesn't even have to be a monster. It could just be back row, too. Just, like, banish that. And fill a monster, you take damage equal to its attack, double that. So that affects good it's good it's just a little slower than ultimate nightmare who would just be like all right battle you're dead you take the damage moving on you know so uh, but this card is not done this card has more effects i know this card's not done um your opponent cannot target monsters you control for attack except for this one so if they think that they're going to be cute and try to chip you out by hitting other monsters and leaving this on the field nope nope your opponent can only attack this so that's that's a very strong effect as well um Neither player can shuffle cards on the field into the deck. I don't really understand why that card's there. That effect's there. It's okay. So, I mean, the card already can't be targeted. It can't be tributed. Like, the fact that neither player can shuffle cards on the field back into the deck, like, I, I really don't understand what that has to really do with anything. It definitely could not be there, and I don't think that would really make a difference. But sure, throw it in there, just make the card even more powerful. Interesting that that, that effect's not up there with the rest of the you can't do, you cannot, you cannot effects stacked there at the bottom. And then last effect. If this card leaves the field by your opponent's card effect, destroying it by card effect, uh, you can special summon up to three banished fiend-type monsters, ignoring their summoning conditions. Your opponent cannot act, uh, respond to this uh, effect's activation. That's really good. And that really would just, that just makes this card just so freaking good. So, the only way you can do with this card is destroyed by card effect. You destroy it by card effect, I get to summon three fiend-type monsters, ignoring the summoning condition. Hmm, I wonder those, what those will be. Alright, the three Ubels that I banished for this, you know? Ignoring the summoning condition, so great. So then you got to deal with Ubel, Terran Karna, and Ultimate Nightmare. And then you and you can't respond to this effect, so it's not like you destroy me and then I activate an effect and you strike me. You know, you can't activate in response to the effect. And then I can literally just banish those three again and summon this back and then destroy and summon. And like, they, they kind of loops. It really does. And that's really what makes this card so freaking powerful. So freaking powerful. Like, wow. Like, this is probably one of the best Ubel cards I have ever seen fake Ubel cards. Like, this card is just beautiful. It's very strong. It loops. It, 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 it really... I, th I think that if this card was real, I could possibly see some meta Ubel decks. I could easily see uh, maybe people throwing in one of each Ubel this into, like, Infernoids uh, just doing the Grass Taser just to bust this monster out. Really. Just a powerful monster that your opponent really can't do anything about. Like I said, unless they have, like, a Dark Hole or a Regeki. That's pretty much it. They can't Utopia the Lightning you. They can't Kaiju you. And you're just wrecking havoc. They can't attack any other monsters. So, yeah. And this card is just doing damage. Uh, you know, I'm banishing a card from your hand filled or graveyard, inflicting double the damage. And if you get rid of me, I can summon three banished fiend type monsters, ignoring some condition. And if there's three bells, I can just do it again and do it again and do it again and do it again. So, awesome card. Awesome card, you know. Uh, really, really. So, there you go, people. There's Fake Card Friday. So, uh, of course, I'll be back next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. If you guys want to send me any fake cards, be sure to um, just remember to put the effect in the in the comment as well. So, I just, just just copy and paste it into the description. If not, then I got to type out the effect, and that's a pain. But like I said, it does not have to be Ubel related. It just has to be this. Uh, so, whether it be you guys send me a card... Or I find my own card for next week on Friday. It doesn't have to be you belt related. And it probably won't be. I, I don't like to do you belt cards in a row when it comes to fit card Friday. So anyway, uh, be sure to subscribe to Zuno Project's channel and check out some of his content. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. Really do appreciate it. Of course, I'll be seeing you guys with more Yu-Gi-Oh content. Speaking of you bell, please if you can join me for uh, Vime and Y live stream tomorrow, 10 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Uh, specific time, two hours long. Uh, we're going to be playing with Sinyu Bell. I wish we could play this card. That'd be awesome, but it doesn't exist. So, so Konami, get on it. Get on it. All right. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for support. And, uh, yeah, see you guys next time.